A search for two children from Idaho has taken an alarming turn. Their parents are now missing two, and the FBI thinks the kids are in serious danger. Seven-year-old Joshua J.J. Vallow and 17-year-old Tylee Ryan haven't been seen for three months. Police believe their mother, Lori Vallow, and stepfather, Chad Daybell, could have answers if they can be found. Investigators say the children's disappearance could be connected to the death of Daybell's former wife. Errol Barnett is following this story. Errol, bizarre doesn't even begin to describe it's, this, this story. You're right absolutely now. right. It's bizarre. There are twists and turns, and police now are asking for, for anyone's help who may have information, so listen up. You may know something. Police say the parents were uncooperative when trying to find the children, and that was before the parents vanished. This is J.J. Vallow singing on a bus with his grandfather six months before he disappeared. The seven-year-old with autism and his sister, Tylee Ryan, were last seen in Rexburg, Idaho on September 23rd. Investigators only discovered they were missing when another case was cracked wide open. A librarian in town, Tammy Daybell, died in her home October 19th. She was initially thought to have died of natural causes, but in a later investigation, the local sheriff's office determined her death might be suspicious. Her body was exhumed for an autopsy, and those results are pending. Her widower, Chad Daybell, got remarried within just a few weeks to a woman named Lori Vallow, the mother of the missing children. And in the course of investigating Tammy Daybell's death, police were made aware of the missing kids. Concerned relatives reached out to police after not hearing from JJ for weeks. Investigators performed a welfare check at Lori Vallow's home in late November, and according to police, she and Chad Daybell said JJ was staying with a family friend in Arizona. But when investigators returned the next day with search warrants, Vallow and Daybell were gone. I don't, I don't know why they're doing what they're doing. It doesn't make any sense. According to local TV station KSTU, Brandon Boudreaux used to be married to Lori Vallow's niece and even baptized Tylee Ryan. He says Vallow and Daybell have cult-like religious beliefs, and he feels that may be playing a role. I don't know what happened to those kids. I know that there's people who do, and they're not talking. And I know it's tough to follow, but there's more. Investigators are also reportedly looking into Lori Vallow's ex-husband's death. Her ex-husband was killed by her brother. That brother is now also dead. Police are urging anyone who may know about the whereabouts of the missing children to immediately call 911. This is a case stretching from Utah to Arizona, and as you've just seen, wow. very complicated. I mean, it sounds like a 48-hour mystery, and it, it is. there's so many layers to it. And the missing children at the, at the center of all this, the young boy has autism, and police are, are imploring everyone, the FBI is involved in this as well, to contact the Center for Missing and Exploited Children if you know anything mm -hmm. that's connected to this mystery. Just chilling. Absolutely. Really is. Just want those kids to be okay. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Errol, very much. Yeah. Appreciate it.